Okay, we're going to dis uh, talk about how it is that I find a trigonometric function of a triple angle here. Uh, the important thing to remember here is that I did talk about double angles before, and we talked about what we do, and I'm going to come back to that idea in a second. So first things first is to solve actually for my trigonometric triple angle here. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and you're left with sine of 3x equals root 3 over 2. And what we need to talk about here is that any sine function that I take of some angle, okay, if gives me the uh, ratio of root 3 over 2, it's important to understand that this angle of whatever that I do that I triple has to give you that root 3 over 2. So let's take a look at when does just sine of some theta equal root 3 over 2. And I have to put my answer in radians here because it's on an interval of 0 to 2 pi. So when does sine give you root 3 over 2? Well, that's at 60 degrees, which in radians is pi over 3. And I'm also talking about when sine is positive, so when else is sine positive? And that's positive in quadrant 2. So that gives me a reference angle of 2 pi over 3. So now what I have here is I've got this problem that says that 3x has to be whatever that theta is. So I'm just going to set up that 3x equals that pi over 3, and also that 2 pi over 3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and just solve for the angle that I'm looking for. So all I have to do here is divide each one of these by 3. And when I do that, it's really multiplying by 1 third. So I'm really just multiplying both sides of the equation here by 1 third. And what you're left with is x is equal to pi over 9 and also 2 pi over 9. So now the important thing here you have to understand is that now we're doing triple angles. So what I now need to look at is, are there other angles on the interval of 0 to 2 pi that have triple angles? And the way you figure this out is earlier I was talking about that I took, I took uh, in degrees here, I took 360 and I divided it by the how many angles that I had. What was I doing? Well, in this case, I, before I did 2, so this time I'm going to divide it by 3 and you get 360 degrees. Divided by 3, which is, um, let me get my eraser here, which is 120. Okay, so 120 degrees, okay, remember I have to have this in radians, so 120 degrees we should know is 2 pi over 3. So now what I'm going to do is that each of these angles, I'm going to check that if I add 2 pi over 3 of it, will it give me this angle of pi over 3 as its coterminal side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into ninths, so all these are in nines, so I'm going to put it into ninths, so this here is 6 pi over 9. Okay, so 2 pi over 3 is 6 pi over 9. So pi over 9 plus 6 pi over 9 gives me 7 pi over 9. Add it to this, I get 8 pi over 9. Now, with a double angle, I would stop. And the reason for that is because if I take something and I add 180 to it and I double it, then that gives me 360, which then if I take that angle, any angle, add 180 to it and then double it, it's going to give me something greater than 360. But this time, if I added 120 to some angle, so let's say I took... 30 degrees, and I added 120 to it, well 30 plus 120 is 150, but if I then went, go ahead and continue to do that, went through again and doubled, it gave me 150, so that doesn't follow the same property. So again, what I'm going to do is actually for these ones, what you'll find is for a triple angle, there's actually going to be six possible angles. So now I go back to the 7 pi over 9, and I add another 2 pi over 3 to it. So the 2 pi over 3 added to that, which actually gives me, or the 6 pi over 9, which gives me 13 pi over 9, and then the last one I have here for my last angle is the 8 pi over 9 plus the 6, which is 14 pi over 9. So my angles here, and then what I want you to note is that in the double angle I had four answers, for a single angle I had two, and for a triple angle I now have six. And just to check to make sure that these work, so 7 pi over 9, so if I tripled 7 pi over 9, so that would be 7 times 3, which is 21, well, 9 goes into 21 uh, three, uh, three times, or two times, sorry. 9 goes into 31, uh, 21 two times, which gives you 18. 18 minus 21 is 3, so 3 pi over 9 is that pi over 3. And the same thing with this, if I triple this, I get 24 over 9. 24 over 9, get 9 goes into 24 twice, so I really have 2 pi all over, uh, and then the... 24 minus the 18 is 6, and 6 pi over 9 is that 2 thirds pi. So what you're finding is that when you add the 2 thirds pi to all of these, it's actually giving you back to this ratio that you wanted. So that's how you would solve something with a triple angle. So I hope that helps.